Hello and welcome to this next uh, episode in the Geology Education series. This is an interesting uh, episode. When we start off uh, thinking of using technology in exploration, uh, the first things uh, that come to mind uh, are uh, remote sensing and GIS applications, airborne re- geophysical survey, which are all great. But there's a basic thing. My life as an explorer, as a field person has significantly improved once I started using this. The humble cell phone. It's no longer a humble cell cell phone. It's the most powerful geological field tool that I have, that I have been using. I have I have a folder here called Geo. Now this Geo folder has quite a few applications that have become a lifesaver for me. It's important that you have a, a cell phone with a, a large screen and a very long battery life. You don't want to get to lose your battery in the middle of a field work. What I have is a cell phone with uh, about 5000 mAh battery, which lasts me one, one and a half days. Uh, I, I would normally when field charge it uh, in the night and work uh, through, through the day. The phones normally have built-in GPS, they have a built-in compass, they have a built-in system for detecting the inclination of the phone. Many software use these these three features to do a lot of things that we would normally do with a compass, uh, a a clinometer and a GPS. Uh, Many geological application softwares uh, use, uh, almost all of them use GPS, so the battery consumption is pretty high. And many, there are many softwares that have, uh, that have uh, utilized this, these features to build a field notebook from where we can directly transfer the data to a spreadsheet and use it in a GIS. Using this saves about one to two hours of work time every day in field. That was the time then when we when we used to note down the things in the the field diary, make sketches and input that data into the spreadsheet at the end of the day or plot the data on the map end of the day. All these things have been automated using these software. So without much further delay, let's dive in and have a look at what are the applications that I have on my phone and what do I do with it. So this is my folder and these are the applications that I regularly use in field. First one is a compass. As you rotate the compass, it will show digital as well as the traditional analog compass. At the bottom, at the bottom here, It also gives the north latitude and the east longitude. There is another interesting feature in this uh, compass application. We we can actually read the inclination of the phone. As we incline the phone, the bubble starts moving in different directions and the angle of inclination is also given. This we can use for leveling. The second cool uh, application that I use is called strike and dip, this one here. The strike and dip uh, application actually is a very powerful application. We can uh, start a new a new uh, new collection area that we are going to uh, to to prospect or explore can become one collection so let's click on a collection so now we are able to make a collection let's put a name to our collection it says test and save it now a screen open opens up where we can take samples now to take take a new sample new sample is not not uh, the rock sample but a location is called sample. So let's say we add sample. So now we can give the name of the location. Let's say location one. This is same as uh, uh, in, in GPS. We take uh, GPS waypoints. So it's like that. Back into that. Now at location one, let's take the strike and dip. The first thing is we can take strike and dip. We can have many different options. What is what we are measuring? So let's say we are measuring bedding and then we incline our phone like this. Once we incline our phone parallel to the bedding and then we press OK. As soon as you press OK, the data gets recorded here. Bedding, this is the strike, this is the dip angle. Date, time, automatic. Location. Automatic. The GPS here automatically records the location at which we are taking the data. There is another cool feature called magnetic field. If your phone has the magnetic sensor, you can click on the magnetic field and 
the actual magnetic field intensity at this point will be displayed. Let's record that also. Theodolite is another interesting feature here. Theodolite, we can take pictures with geotagging and orientation and inclination and also have all the functionality of a theodolite built in. Let's try this one. As soon as we say theodolite, then a window opens up where I can it shows all the data in the direction on which the camera is pointing, phone camera is pointing. So this can be used taking uh, geocoded, geotagged uh, uh, photographs also as well as full functionality of theodolite. Let's, let's say we try to take photograph of this cup here which is hiding behind the water. So we press this button here and we can actually continue measuring one point to another but let's say we finish. <clears throat> as soon as we come back to the to, to our starting window, we see this a theodolite saved here. We press theodolite view and then we can actually view the picture that we have taken. So we can we know that we have we have taken this picture pointing towards north 21. This is the looking down 3.9 degrees. So all this information is available on the theodolite image. Next is notes. Notes is like a field diary. Whatever observations we have, uh, we can we can write it down. If we, if we see the lithology of sandstone, we can write sandstone here. If we see some alteration, we can say argillic alteration, and so on. If the if your phone is equipped with a temperature sensor, we can actually measure the temperature my phone is not and pressure. We can in the media section, this is another very interesting section. In the media section, we can actually have voice notes or photographs. We can actually record a video of what we are seeing in the field. Or with select audio, we can record what we are seeing uh, in, in audio form. Let's say take photo. I want to take photo. Again, let's say we take photo and say okay. So our photo gets saved here in the media section, in the media. Later on we can see the photo. Now all this I am still doing in the office. So let's have a look at what real observations that ha I have taken using this application. Let's say we go to this place called Condoroma. Condoroma is a place in Peru. So this is the different locations. Let's say we go to location Banchi the 7. So these are, these are the actual field observations I have taken in the field. You can see the theodolite. Let me see if I can enlarge this picture. Yeah, great. So you see here I have my Brunton kept here for for scale. These green stains here are actually malachite mineralization, and we have more mineralization in this area. The direction of the photo is 171 degrees or south south non, nine degree east. Is almost horizontal, 0.7 degree looking down, and the elevation angle. And the location of the picture is shown up here, and altitude 4774 meters. If you realize this is this altitude, note this altitude, this is about as high as, as we can get we can get in Ladakh or higher Himalayas. An extremely oxygen deficient environment where it is difficult to work. The other most interesting feature of this application is the ability to plot the data, collected data directly onto Google Maps. We have a section called map here. Let's, let's try, try to tap that. Now zoom into the location that we have surveyed. Let's go to this place. From the map, 
also we can go directly to the location that we had worked and collected the data. At this location, we see an old working and added for mining of copper. This is the location name. We have observed the normal fault at this location with dip and strike data here. Then we have the date and time, location, magnetic field. With here the light reading. The other great feature of the the other great feature of the application is this data can be synchronized to our account creator, a company called Major Forms. This application, Dip and Strike, has been developed by a company called MajorForms.com. We can have an account on on the Major Forms uh, website and upload all the data that is collected from the field to this website and then download from there into an Excel. Using that Excel, the data can be transferred to a GIS for further input. Anyways, let's move on with the applications. So these two applications have actually uh, the ones that I have been using most in the field work. Geological, Geological Compass is another nice application that you can use as a replacement for... Uh, this is also can be used as a leveling as well as taking the dip, dip and strike measurement. Another very interesting app or very useful app that I always uh, often use is the MGRS UTM app. MGRS is actually a military grid reference system and UTM. So this app, uh, app is also useful especially when you have to locate yourself on a map in the field. So in this app we get the latitude, longitude and the UTM and the MGRS system all on the same page. We also get the satellite configuration uh, uh, set target for navigation if necessary. This is also quite a small and handy uh, app. One very good app is the mobile topographer. This helps actually conducting surveys using the cell phone in the field. So friends that was some of the lifesaver apps that I have on my phone. Feel free to use it. Most of these are uh, free products. Some of them are shareware. Make sure you follow all the legal guidelines whenever you are doing whatever you are doing. So friends, that brings us to the end of today's video, Lifesaver Android Apps for Field Geologists. Please remember to subscribe the video and like it and share it as much as possible. Thank you for watching the video. I invite you all to please visit the Mineral Exploration Academy website and register yourself. The registration is free and registration is open to students, teachers, professionals or anybody who is interested in mineral exploration. The registration will also provide you an access to be able to ask questions from our experts and also provide an opportunity for uh, established experts to answer and interact with the students. The registration form is available on the Mineral Exploration Academy website. I would also encourage you to look at the editorials and opinion sections and visit the student question and answer section at the bottom here. In the student question and answer section, the questions asked by the students are being answered by our experts. Our experts are the top people in the field and it would be an, a, a wonderful learning opportunity for the students for probably the questions that occurred to you but you could not ask or to review questions what have occurred to other people and get the answers the different experts are providing. Thank you so much and I look forward to interacting with you a lot more.